So hello and welcome along Eclipse Motorcycles today we're looking at this this is the ZSB125 uh, cheapest one that Lexmoto do and probably one of the best that Lexmoto do so this bike is priced at just £12.99.99 uh, obviously you've got your on the road fees but this is the grey version um, best little budget motorcycle that is probably on the market as I said very very retro look so it's got that nice wide seat to it that nice teardrop style tank and then you've got your LED indicators around the front nice big mud guard and then just looking around the bike very easy access to that engine and then you've got that nice chromed silencer to the rear so a nice big can with the disc brakes to the rear on this one customer has obviously gone for the optional top box on this one so very very nice little bike we're going to take this one out and we're going to get about another 10 15 kilometers on this bike so just coming down low and having a look around that engine as you can see this is a one down four up five speed gearbox on this currently got it on the side stand but does come with that main stand as well nice big disc brake to the front of this and it is a combined braking system on this so it's got the cbs combined braking system on it which is what most of the new euro 4 bikes have so we're just going to cop a lev over the top and just give you a quick close-up on that dash so as you fire it up rev count a nice big clock you've got your miles in a nice big display and just down to the bottom right you've got that fuel and then obviously your trip mileage at the bottom and it also tells you what gear you're in on the left hand side you've got horn indicators main and you've also got pass light to the rear and your standard start and kill switch all to that side of the bike so just pop the side stand up now this obviously doesn't start on the side stand it does have the immobiliser on it and as you can tell from the off lovely little sounding engine on this one mirrors very very good as well on this Lexmoto nice view of the road behind on both mirrors so we're just going to pull out into traffic on this one and obviously as I said before for the purpose of my ride testing we're going to stick to 40 mile an hour and it does get up to 40 very very quick so there we go fifth speed and 40 mile an hour and it sits nicely in the traffic and normal things we do obviously nice big front brake test when we're going to come in at the roundabout and we're going to pull it in on the rear brake at the next roundabout as we go down the dual carriageway and just do a couple of quick things hand off the handlebars just to see what the stability is like with one hand now with the ZSBs obviously it's one of their old brands that they've revitalized and re-released and I absolutely love these ZSBs and they are one of our big sellers at the garage we've currently got three that are going out to different customers so I've got this one that's going out in a grey and we've also got the two blue ones going out this week the seat on this is very very comfortable I would say it's uh, almost dead flat seat on this one with a little bit of a raise just at the very edge of my backside so it just holds you in the seat nicely but it does get up to speed very very quickly as you can see I'm just going to drop that back slightly that went straight up to 45 so it does get up to speed very very quickly so just sitting at 40 mile an hour on this obviously nice view of the road behind me I can check that there's no traffic behind me as I do my test and one hand off the bar as you can see and that bike is holding a nice dead straight line so very very good now with these Lexmodo ZSBs obviously they are priced exceptionally well and you're getting a lot of bike for a very very little money with this Lexmodo ZSB absolutely love these machines now a couple of things that uh, we did find when we first got the ZSBs in obviously people were going oh it looks a bit retro it's not got the modern styling or Lexmo it's a budget bike it is designed to get you from A to B if you're an urban commute or you work in an office you're inside the congestion zone and red hot day you don't want to be stuck in traffic in your car in the middle of London poodling along at two mile an hour what better to be on a bike running around filtering through traffic and getting to the office two hours ahead of everybody else so ideal urban commute to this if you're doing sort of a longer journey you're looking at 10-15 miles out this is the bike to do it it's going to get you from A to B it's got that uh, 
ability to have that extra big top box to the back. Now we've got a 32 litre on this one. Uh, you do have the option to obviously put a bigger top box so you can, can step it up to a 42 litre. And for those that are wondering what a 42 litre looks like, it's big enough to take a good 14 inch size pizza. So if you fancy running down the road buying yourself a pizza, then uh, good for you. But the 32 litre is enough to put your helmet in. Obviously there is no storage under the seat on this, or very, very minimal storage under the seat on this. Enough to put a tool kit, a little bit of paperwork. Fuel economy on this is absolutely superb. They have said it's just over, I think, about a hundred to the gallon or something on one of these. So obviously a nice big fuel tank on this with that nice chrome top and it's a lockable chrome top as well. Works off one key, does the job. So you're going to get, with fuel prices at the moment, probably about sort of six pound to fill your tank up, even less at some garages. Now, well, for the purposes of uh, ride testing, I think there's about eight and a half litres that the uh, technicians have put in, and that's filled it up to just below half. So I will have to check out the tank spec on this one, see how much the tank holds. But obviously, for a tenner a week. It's going to get you loads. We always say sort of try and brim the tank out and just keep your tank topped up. Don't sort of drop it all the way down to a quarter and then fill it up and quarter, fill it up. Keep your tank brimmed up because you're just adding new fuel into the system every time. And just coming off and uh, if you know my ride circuit you'll know there's a big pothole coming up in a minute. And here it comes and over that. So a nice little bump just to throw it over. I didn't even feel that. Another one. And it... I'm not even feeling them bumps, so the suspension on this is absolutely superb. Now obviously a couple of things that we've got coming in, and uh, they all arrived yesterday evening about 5pm, so we were all running around like headless chickens yesterday, uh, organising crates, unloading lorries. We have just had the Titans come into stock. So the Titans are in now, and we've got eight of those in stock now. We've got an extra two assaults, we've got another two uh, of the ZSBs come in, but the big talking point, and uh, I absolutely love these, is the new Lexmoto Riot. So uh, if you've not seen the Lexmoto Riot, oh my god, what a bike. Um, obviously Honda Grom based, monkey bike size. Now with Honda Groms, I absolutely love the Honda Groms, but as I said with Honda, you're paying for a name, so uh, the Honda name is uh, just a big brand that you're going to pay a shed load of bucks for, just because it says Honda. Um, Benelli, I'm going to name them in this one actually, and I'm uh, going to go to town on it. A couple of uh, bike bloggers that I know have the Benelli TNTs. Now, one of them absolutely loves his bike, and he said, yeah, I paid a lot of money for my bike, just over £2,200. And I went, oh, OK. Nice colours, and he went, yes, but that's not what it comes like. And I went, what do you mean? Extra for extra levers, so you have to pay extra for the extra coloured levers, you have to pay extra for the extra coloured frame. All the accessories on the Benelli TNT are chargeable. And I said, well, in the end, how much did you pay for that bike? Uh, just over 2,800 in spares and accessories to get it up to what I wanted it to look like. Okay, that's not bad. But I spoke to another bike blogger. He said, I absolutely detest the Benelli TNT. Uh, the engine's rubbish. The frame is rubbish. It rots like an absolute pig unless you keep it clean. Um, doesn't like being off-road, although it's not designed to be off-road. He said, but I like to do a bit of green laning every now and then with my mates. Went green laning. It took me hours to get into that bike and try and get the dirt out of it. It's not easily accessible. It's very hard to service and maintain. And he's seen the Lexmoto Riot. Now, he's actually done a test ride on the Riot. And I said to him, what do you think of it? He went, I bought one. Okay, how much did you pay for it? 2200 Oh. Okay, as you know, did you buy any of the extras? Don't need it, it's already got them. So, sorry folks, Benelli TNT, one out of ten in my book. I was going to buy one at the bike show a couple of years ago. Now, the Riot came in this morning, I've unwrapped it, I've had a look, and uh, I might be buying myself one. 
I don't think the wife's going to be very happy about it, but I might treat myself to a little uh, Lexmoto Riot. Now it does have the uh, the free tip exhaust on it. It's got some amazing paint on the wheels. If you haven't seen the uh, the photo that I put up on Eclipse Motorcycles of the wheels on that uh, Benelli, uh, on the Lex Motor Riot, should I say? <laughs> if you've not seen the photos of the Riot that's gone up, oh my God! Um, and Phil said to me, he said, I've never seen such a big smile on your face since you went out on your bike and did the track date. Yeah, I absolutely love the Lex Moto Riot. So uh, have a wander over on the channel and uh, check out the guys. So Eclipse Motorcycles, they've got uh, obviously Facebook. Look for the picture of the scooters and the, uh, the Mini on there. And if you happen to be on the, uh, the web, on that wonderful World Wide Web, you can go and check out some of the uh, bikes that we've got. Obviously, we're still updating the website at Eclipse Motorcycles. So the website's eclipsemotorcyclesmk.co.uk. And if you fancy uh, just doing all the easy stuff, all you've got to do, jump onto my page and internet page, www.revbomb.co.uk. Click across onto the social media. You've got the link to my Twitter. You've got the link to my Facebook page. And you've also got the link to my Instagram, YouTube, everything is all on there. And it's all very, very easy at the click of a button. There's also, on every page on my website, there is a link to Eclipse Motorcycles. Because obviously those guys look after me big time, I do work for them. But uh, they do look after my bike big time and they would be the only ones that I trust my Kawasaki with. And... Uh, there's a link straight to their website and all their pages as well so you can check all that stuff out and I've also got my merch shop on there so if you fancy one of my t-shirts or you fancy a cup or a mug or a phone case all the uh, Rev Bomb stuff is on there as well now obviously I don't get any money from Lexmoto for doing this I do it because I absolutely love riding bikes and it just so happens we're a Lexmoto garage and I just like riding these little Lexmotos you know it's different from hauling around on a big 750 Kawasaki. Now, with these little bikes, I absolutely love them. There's uh, obviously some that I don't love, they grow on me after a while. So, uh, I happened to be into a few bikes that were out on the uh, pages. One of the big loves that I did have, and obviously I'm going to sort of, while I'm going around, just burble on. Now, I do love these ZSBs, um, a couple of that I did like when they first came out was the XTRS, that was a gorgeous bike and uh, obviously they're now discontinued, people still have XTRS's and they are still going one of our customers has got one and it is an absolute minter it's really been well looked after, I think it's got about 8000 on it now but that's uh, back on an old 62 plate and he's still riding it, he's loving it, thinking oh god, are you going to change it? no, it's still going, I love it Obviously it's had loads of work done on it, it keeps it regularly maintained, so that was one of my big loves. I also love the Adrenaline. When the Adrenaline came out, what a perfect little motocross, and they had the 250 version of that. And then obviously it went down to 125s, but uh, I did love the Adrenaline, and that was superseded by the Tekken. Um, Tekken was alright, but it was, you know, too much too soon. So it grew on me, but... Uh, it wasn't my cup of tea and that wasn't one of my big loves so you know although it was a nice looking bike it just did not appeal to me it just did not float my boat um, then we add in sort of the new hunters that came in on 50cc the things that I did love was the 50cc Pulse Scout now, before Lex Moto there was Pulse that's what they were known as originally and it was the Pulse Scout our little Pulse Scout we've got we've got a 16 plate Scout uh, as our loan bike and that has been thrown down the road so many times it comes in change the panels give it a service put it back out uh, this thing is absolutely bomb proof um, same as the new Lexmoto Echoes now they've just upped the game with a Lexmoto Echo Plus and that is just just a totally different class of 50cc so if you're into uh, 16 you want to get yourself a scooter the way to go Lexmoto Echo and it was the biggest seller of 2019 it's swamped every other 50cc bike so Lexmoto guys absolutely spot on well done you pulled it out the bag with the Lexmoto Echoes and the Echo Plus I reckon is going to be the big bike of 2020 absolutely mad little scooter 
and on the 125s obviously new models that were out on the scooters the Diablos but I liked it Italian style colours look good Enigma is to me I, ne I never was an Enigma lover um, some people rare about them and they're brilliant but to me it's just an ugly looking bike but obviously that is my personal opinion um, I know Lex Motor boys are Dave you can't say that yes I can I have to give a very individual and down the middle opinion, you know, I'm not going to sort of sw say I'm going to swing in the favour of Lexmo. I just did not like the Enigma, it was an ugly bike. Um, some people absolutely love it, so some people like Marmite, some people don't. It's, so it's a very Marmite bike, you love it or hate it. The one that really did uh, float my boat, and there's obviously a couple of big scooters that really did, I love the Milano. The little retro looking sort of Vespa type Milano, it was uh, obviously very well priced a lot of people love them I did love the Milanos um, another one that I did like as well was the Chieftain now obviously the Chieftain is still available but the new Auris that they've just brought or the Aura they've just brought out totally different ball game again they've upped the game again with the Aura so looking forward to get one of those in but the Chieftain big maxi scooter absolutely loved those as well um, across on the bikes Ones that really do appeal to me, obviously, I love these little ZSBs. Cheap, easy, nice budget commuter, very, very good. Um, the other's the Isca. Now, if you've seen my uh, review of the Isca, I absolutely slated it on the first ride. I absolutely hated the bike. Didn't like the tank, didn't like the inclination of the seat. I've had about four rides on that Isca now, and oh, I'm in love with it now. It really does grow on you. So, yep, Isca, that is another one that I like. The new Assault is another one that really you know is a nice bike I think the Assault is sort of, they've, st they've sort of copied the front of the Adrenaline and stuck it on the back of the Isca but the Assault once again another very very good budget bike um, we sold two of those last week and I've got another two just come in so the Assault is another good one but obviously the bike of the year that for me and um, we are still got loads of these going out is the uh, LXRs now they do the LXR they do the LXR SE we've got the 380 in as well another brilliant set of bikes then and uh, I hate to think what their next sports bike is going to be obviously the LXR is going strong are they going to do anything different in a sports bike watch their page and uh, see what materializes this year obviously they they keep up in the game every sort of three to four months coming out and saying we've got this or oh, we've got a new addition to this what's the aftermarket accessories and a lot of bikers especially the Lexmoto riders and if you happen to be on the Lexmoto owners um, page UK Lexmoto owners UK have a look on their page because there are a lot of people asking me how can I uh, get a little bit more speed out of the bike obviously these engines are designed for longevity so they're not the fastest engines in the world probably the most reliable if you look after them but uh, is there anything I, I can uh, do to sort of make it look good and there are loads of things that you can find if you happen to be on the CMPO type your bike in aftermarket accessories it will tell you everything that's available on there but uh, they also do their range of Lextech cans and uh, very very good exhaust systems they are Lextech products have really pulled it out the bag as well so if you're in uh, it doesn't matter whether you ride sort of a Lexmoto you've got a Honda Yamaha Suzuki Lextech will probably do a can for it and I know that a certain bike blogger by the name of Spicy fitted a Lextech can onto the LXR380 and it was a totally different sound absolutely amazing sound it made it sound like a real big boys bike so uh, back on my ride circuit we've currently got about seven miles on the clock quick filter and out into traffic and this does handle very very as you can see from the lean angle on this it's like it leans like the proverbial I love it so as I say with the Lextech products have a look at what they've got I know one of our customers recently had a big Honda 1000cc Honda and he went mm, I just want a bit more grunt but uh, I've had a look at an Acroprovic, I've had a look at this, I've had a look at that. But, uh, what do you recommend? I mean, well, the Lextech may do one. Best thing to do, go on the Lextech website. You can uh, 
click through, find what you want, order it, get it sent direct to us, pick it up from us, uh, or if you wanted it fitted by us, then obviously it's a chargeable job, we'd do it for you. Well, I'll get you guys to do it then. Can I order it in? Yep. And he phoned me the next day, he said, can't believe what I've just bought. And I went, what did you get? I got a full chrome system, stainless system, that's uh, headers, link pipe, and the rear can on it. And I paid just under 300 quid, and I went, really? Wow. Yeah, really good uh, bang for the buck on that one. And we fitted it on a totally different bike again. Absolutely improved that bike, no end in the sound, and the performance, and even the look of the bike. So, uh, you got a bargain. Lextex products are the things to do. Now obviously, depending on where this video goes up, and it'll probably be, uh, it's currently Saturday at the moment, so uh, it'll probably go up on Sunday and you're going to miss it, but uh, if I happen to get it up by tonight, we're going to be doing this for the next couple of Sundays. Um, we're having a bike meet at Ivinghoe Beacon. So if you don't know where Ivinghoe is, it's just sort of Dunstable Way. Just put it in your Google Maps, Ivinghoe Beacon. And for the next two Sundays, there's going to be a meet up there at 9 o'clock every Sunday morning. Social distancing rules do apply, so uh, there's going to be a bunch of photographers up there from uh, certain bike magazines. Can't mention the bike magazines, but uh, those bike magazines are very, very well known. So uh, those bike magazines are going to be up there. They're going to be uh, taking photos. Now obviously what you've got to do is uh, turn up, pull into the spot with your bike, stand by your bike, do a couple of quick poses, normal 10 photos I think they're doing per bike, so pose, do 10 photos, move on, next bike comes in. If you are going to stay for a while and look, obviously keep yourself at two. And uh, it's all free of charge. That's the bit I like. And they said to me, uh, RB, do you want to come down with your quacker and uh, get some photos of the ZX7? Oh, I said, I'd love to. What do you want me to uh, do? Just bring yourself, bring the bike. Okay, will do. So I'm off there this Sunday, which is going to be, I think, the 31st or the 1st of June. And then we're going to be doing it again next Sunday, which is the second Sunday of June. So if you want to be around Iving O Beacon, guys, I will see you there. And obviously with lockdown, we are allowed to ride. We're still in sort of a semi-lockdown at the moment. Did you like to wait? Thank you very much. And I am indicating. Look, big right-hand indicator. Uh, it's uh, perception. And the other thing, I'm just going to do one quick circuit, because obviously I'm at uh, 10 miles now, so I'm just going to cut another couple of miles on this before I head back to the garage. If you happen to be on the YouTube page, big page to watch, Dan Dan the Fireman. Um, come on into the firehouse if you want to join it's a quid a month on the patreon um, if you want to be a full-time member actually go into the firehouse virtually and have a, have a taco have a beer you can do that as well but Dan is very very good about teaching hazard perception so hazard perception is sitting on a bike uh, currently I am not watching the car in front of me I've got my eyes on the car in front of me but I am scanning all these side junctions to the left and the right also watching my mirrors and just wondering <laughs> what is behind me as well so he would always teach you when you do pull up to pull off to the side of a car never pull up behind a car if that car behind me as you can see in my mirrors decides uh, he's going to play with his mobile phone like he's doing now not see me you're going to be squashed into that car in front so the, the rule of thumb is if you're going to pull up in traffic most of the time pull up to the right or the left of a car now obviously, coming into roundabouts, and I've just stalled the bike. <laughs> That's the first time in ages that I've stalled a bike. So what he would teach you is, hazard perception, check the junction on the left, is there a car there? No. Currently watching mirrors? Yes. Watch the car in front. What, what is the car in front of him doing? If that car in front decides he's going to do an emergency stop, that blue one's going to hit his brakes twice as hard, where are you going to be? In the back of that blue car. So he teaches hazard perception, guys. So it's another thing that, if you're a new rider, obviously be aware, do your hazard perception training. 
and just notice where cars are going. He also teaches you things like counter steering, going into corners a little bit too fast. Do you hit the front brake? Do you hit the back brake? He will teach you all those things and it's just a YouTube feed. So it's a couple of things, even myself as a biker with a lot of experience, I am still learning on a daily basis. So final mile on this bike, we're at 10.9, that's 11 miles for me. But it is coming in for another road test at the end of this week and going out to the customer I think next week sometime so at the moment when we pull back on the yard you will see how many bikes we have going out now the guys at Eclipse are obviously we are still sort of running a skeleton staff at the moment there's normally seven of us in and there's currently three so as you can imagine bike prep we are to the wall on bike preps very very stressed but enjoying every minute of it so if you are in the uh, mood for a bike I'm just going to pull this one in and we're just going to put this one into neutral roll it back into the parking place so very very easy with that top box on just to put a hand there roll it back There we go. So that's the Expodo ZSB, and as you can tell, we've got an Assault, a Michigan, a Venom, two more ZSBs down there that are all going out, and this UM Commando as well. So I say give the guys at Eclipse a call. They're available 01908 643603. If one of these floats your boat or you want to uh, have a viewing on the bike, give the guys a call, and we'll book you in for a viewing.